Hey everyone, so we're back and we're ready to actually get started with our edge deployment. To do that, we're gonna wanna do a couple of minor, minor prereqs. And the good news is you guys are probably familiar with these concepts by now, so this should be pretty easy. First, we're gonna need to verify our transport zones are configured, uh, which if you recall in my previous video, I did already to get ahead of it, but we'll do some verification. Next, we're gonna need to also verify that we have uplink profiles created. Uh, these are gonna specify, you know, which uplinks, how should they be operating? Do we have one or two uplinks on the Edge VM itself? Um, then we're also going to want to check out our VLAN segments. We need a couple of VLAN segments for upstream connectivity. These are specifically doing things like allowing us to have BGP uh, peering between the NSXT Edge and the physical network. So let's get started. First, to check the transport nodes, we're, or the transport zones, we're going to go to System Transport Zones. And I have my first one, my Edge VLAN transport zone, which is good. And I, I do want to check the name. Uh, I'm actually going to I'm going to blow this one away, and I'll, I'm going to show you guys why. With the the new method of, of kind of or the way that I'm going to show you guys, I shouldn't say the new method because you probably haven't seen the old method. But um, the way that we deploy these edges, it, it's very helpful to have this switch name be the same uh, between the overlay transport zone and your VLAN transport zone for your edge. Uh, this just allows a simplified deployment model. It, it's not really a big deal from a functional standpoint. In fact, it doesn't really impact anything, um, but it's the way I'm going to do it. So in this case, I want my Edge VLAN transport zone to match this switch name, NSX VDS. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete that and recreate one. So I'm going to do Edge VLAN transport zone VLAN and I'm gonna make sure this is NSX VDS, and that looks good. All right, so as I mentioned, that'll make a little more sense once we go through the deployment, and basically it'll just simplify things so we don't have to create a bunch of virtual switches, and it, it gets a little more confusing if we didn't do it that way. All right, so that's done. Uh, let's go check our uplink profiles next. We will have to create one. Uh, you, if you recall, we created the transport node profile V19. Now, keep in mind, we're talking about an edge VM, and the Edge VM will have essentially at most three interfaces, one for the management, and then it'll have two uh, for the overlay uh, networking and also our upstream connectivity. So in this case, we have a couple of default profiles. So you have, for example, uh, NSX Edge single NIC uplink profile, uh, which specifies only one interface. This is fine except for one problem. First of all, you see if I select it, I can't edit it. So in my case, for my TEP VLAN on my edges, I'm using VLAN 20. And if you recall from the previous video, if you were paying attention, I use VLAN 19 for my TEP VLAN for my hosts. It is recommended that you use a different VLAN for your edge TEPs than you do for your host TEPs. And to be honest with you guys, I don't have a whole lot of background on why that is. I can tell you I've done it both ways and it worked fine. Uh, but I are on the side of just following advice when given. So. I keep them separate and that's been a pretty regular recommendation that I've heard. Uh, I do owe you guys an answer as far as why we recommend that. I'm really not sure, but I will find out. So that said, uh, the problem is I can't edit these default profiles. So they're nice as kind of a template, uh, but in my case, I need to specify this transport VLAN as 20. So I need to create a profile. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna hit add. And just the same way I created the transport node profile, it's gonna be the same process. In this case, I'm going to call it MG Edge uh, V20 Uplink Profile. I'm going to go down to Teaming. Um, I'm going to leave. Oops. I'm going to leave that to. I'll do M1 and M2. I'll do Active Standby on this, and then I'm going to specify VLAN 20 here. All right, so I'm gonna switch over now to look at our segments. These are gonna be our VLAN back segments that go upstream from our NSX edge to the physical routers, wherever those sit. In my case, I'm using VLANs 21 and 22 for that. So I need to create a couple of VLAN segments for that that I can reference in that uh, NSX edge configuration. To do that, I'm gonna to go to networking and I'm gonna go down to segments. I'm gonna hit add segment and I've already done these previously, so my browser is auto-populating the names here, so I'm gonna go with that. So left VLAN V21. I don't need any connectivity. This would be if I was creating uh, an overlay network. I could connect it to a virtual router, but I don't need to do that. 
I do need to select a transport zone. In this case, I'm gonna select the edge VLAN transport zone. So this way, this network is accessible to that edge, essentially that it can use it. And all I really need at this point is a VLAN ID. A bit of a pro tip, it's easy to type the ID in here and then move on to another field such as this one, but you'll see that it, it deleted what I was working on. So you need to type in your ID and then hit add items. And then that's when you know that your input is good. So we're gonna hit save on that one. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna do one for the right VLAN. Worth mentioning, the reason we have two separate VLANs is really redundancy. You, the idea basically goes, you have kind of your left VLAN going from your edge, ideally two edges for redundancy, to your left topper rack. And then you have a right VLAN going from your two edges to the right topper rack. So if you have any issues on one, things can fail over seamlessly and there's no issues. Um, so if you're doing this in a lab, you can get away with just one of these VLANs without any problems. In my case, I'm gonna go with two. As I mentioned, I'm gonna just duplicate that one except for a different VLAN. I'm also gonna put it on the edge VLAN transport zone and I'm gonna specify my VLAN. Hit add and save. All right, so that's it. So now we're ready to actually go deploy our edges. So I'll see you guys there.